sometimes women get fed up of life? Why sometimes they hear so many criticism from their relatives, from their parents, uh, close ones, husband? They feel fed up of life. They feel that they don't have energy at all to serve, to live in this world. And they think that, oh my god, so many years I did so much for these people. And now they're responding to me like that. So what is the problem? Hello friends, this is Maral here. Today we will discuss the topic What will happen if woman doesn't take rest? What is the solution? How she can take rest? And what will be the problem if she doesn't? By nature, women are very intuitive. They are more intuitive than men because their Anya Chakra, which is here in the middle of the eyebrows, this is more sensitive than in men. It is more developed than in men. That's why they are so much sensitive that they can feel the, the voice of guilt. They can feel. So they can feel others. That's why when they see others are suffering or they need some help in life or even in daily, practical, daily, day-to-day -day life, when kid is crying, father doesn't know what's happening, but mother knows, oh, kid wants to go to bathroom, or she knows, oh, kid's hungry, or kid is, kid wants to sleep, or else when husband and wife go to the uh, relatives or some friend's home, husband never thinks, oh my god, we are going okay, that's fine, that's fine, but when wife, she's very sensitive, so she will collect some fruits, or some gifts because uh, when you're going to someone's home as a guest it's uh, proper that you bring something it's like friendly relationships so these kind of things women are very practical women are very sensitive that's why they tend to serve a lot they tend to serve a lot women are like batteries rechargeable batteries battery if it is recharged nicely it will work it will give energy and that's why it says behind every great man there is a great woman who is inspiring the person who is giving the energy to the person because when there is no woman behind men mostly those men who are not in love with women with particular woman or this particular girl he doesn't have any inspiration to do something in life he doesn't have any inspiration to achieve higher goals. It may be his mother, or it may be his lover, or it may be his wife, or it may be his daughter. So some woman is there that he is getting inspired. That's why uh, women are like batteries. They give energy to others, especially to the man. What will happen if woman goes so much fast? and she finishes all her all her energy what will happen is for example woman in the morning she wakes up and two three kids and she has to cook and she has to wash the kids i mean to make them take bath so she has to make them to wear proper clothes iron their clothes and then prepare food and then after sending everyone to job husband to job and kids to school she has to take herself food and then she has to go herself to job. What will happen? So, and not only that, she has to give tiffins to the kids, she has to give tiffins to the husband and she has to go to her own job. She takes tiffins and she doesn't have any proper time for eating proper food, so she will go to her job. There she's under pressure of a boss, boss will tell Oh, you have to do this, you have to do that. So she works hard, eight hours a day. And then while coming back from her job to her home, she has to buy some food products, vegetables, something, so that she can cook something at home. So she will buy those things and come home, and home is dirty, nobody cleaned it, everybody's at school, and kids came, they made it everything dirty. So she has to work and she has to cook dinner and after all a husband comes home and he needs some emotional support kids then come with their homeworks in that way she's 
fully, fully, whole day she is giving all out, giving out all her energy because energy is getting lesser and lesser. She is not getting recharged properly. What will happen is the quality of her work will go down. The quality of her service will go down. So she will start hearing some kind of criticism, criticisms like, oh my God, what is this food you cooked? It's just like food which you cook for pigs or what? Or some in-laws may say, oh my God, why is she so angry? Why is she so shouting to us? And kids may say, mom doesn't wash my clothes or she doesn't give me tiffin because or the tiffin was broken or something like this. And uh, a job in, uh, in the job, boss will say, why are you coming so late to the job? And so because she does so many things at a time and she's not getting recharged up, that battery, the energy is getting lost and she, she she's not able to do everything properly so she will start hearing this kind of criticisms of course it is very difficult and in order to protect herself she has to unfortunately many times it happens that because she's hearing all those criticisms nobody understands her that she has to take a little bit rest she doesn't need something more she needs only rest but nobody understands, they, they just criticize her, in-laws, they just make her work, or husband is not satisfied, he wants emotional support, or this support, that support, but he doesn't understand that woman is tired. Because she is tired, she starts getting upset, she starts becoming tired, she starts... She doesn't have any luster in her face. She doesn't have time to put any cosmetics. She doesn't have time to wear a proper dress, womanly dress. She has to wear some kind of churidar or some kind of pants, jeans in order to work hard actively. She doesn't have time to take properly of, your, of her hairstyle. She doesn't have t any time to eat properly. See? peacefully eat properly that's why she'll start hearing this kind of criticisms and because she doesn't know the solution many people, women don't know the solution then they will start taking the position of not the battery but the position of a man so they will start getting against of their nature and they will start becoming like a man. So if somebody criticizes her, in-laws will criticize or husband will criticize, she will start behaving like a man. She will start shouting, she will start beating, she will start, she will become like a man. So in the home, they cannot be two, two men, yeah? So if wife takes the role of a husband, then husband becomes weaker and weaker. He will start behaving like a woman automatically it happens so that's why um, because she's not satisfied she will start eating a lot she's not satisfied in life she will become bigger in size and she will become like a man who will control everyone at home very angry so that is a very sad position a very sad situation so what women should do is that they need to learn to take rest. They need to learn to take proper care of their themselves. Some women become so much spiritual sometimes. They dedicate their lives for spirituality, spiritual uh, going to temple, not getting married on time and doing so many spiritual activities. They forget about their own own desires they forget about their f physical body first of all they don't take care of of future uh, they don't care of the future of this body because body will become old first of all and body will remain alone she doesn't she has to take care of that and body will require help some after some years and body won't be so strong after some years. You won't be able to do so many activities to maintain not only others but yourself. So 
Sometimes even spiritual women become so much fanatic that they don't take care of themselves and just give out all the energy out. So the, it says it is better the person who goes slow, he will go a little further, longer distance. So going slow means when a river, river can give water. We will take water from the river. But river always have the source from where she, she is getting water. She is getting water from mountains. If a river doesn't get some energy from mountains, from the snow which is melting from the mountains, then it will dry up. That way, women, they need to get some, some energy. They have to be recharged. And there are some activities. There are some activities which will help women to get recharged they may uh, seem like very selfish thing but you need sometimes women need that kind of external selfish things so that they can give more and for many years to come so in Vedic culture the women from childhood they learn 64 arts mean 64 arts and among those arts they learn painting, they learn putting cosmetics, they, they know, learn how to apply suitable cosmetics on their face, on their fingers, on their body. And they learn to paint rangoli, in the, they, they learn how to decorate their homes, they learn to plant something in the home to keep garden, and they learn to differentiate uh, some signs about jewelry, jewelry making and differentiating gems from original ones, from diff uh, not original ones and they learn singing, they learn dancing and they learn writing poems and they learn so many magic tricks they learn speaking, they learn telling stories and they learn how to decorate home with flowers, how to decorate bed with flowers, they learn cooking. So these many different, different activities which uh, Vedic, in Vedic times women used to learn. Through those activities they gain some emotional support and they gain some mental peace and they gain some happiness and they uh, uh, at the same time they take care of their bodies because there are things you have to take care is that your health you should take care of your health you should take care of your spiritual life and you should take care of your mental world and you should take care of your relationships if a woman is not able to open her heart and speak and if somebody is not giving some time for her that she can open her heart and speak she is mentally and internally she is empty because she feels lonely so that is a distress for her same thing spiritual practice if she doesn't do something for herself for the soul spiritual practice again she will suffer because it may seem like if I am spending two hours a day or two and a half hours a day for my own spiritual life it, it seems like oh my god you are wasting your time just for yourself you are sitting and doing some meditation but I have to do it in order to give it to others I need to get that energy in order to give it more same thing is with your health I for example do yoga I take care of my health so that I can serve, I can do my duties better. Because I observe that if I work hard, if I don't sleep enough, if I don't sleep around 7 hours a day, and if I don't eat on time, and if I skip my sports or daily yoga, I will become sick. And when I become sick, nobody at home cooks. So it's a suffering for all at home. So when woman is sick or she is tired, so everyone suffers. 
That's why women need to take care of themselves. Also, um, be told that women learn to sing. Women should spend time for their uh, development, for the development of their womanly qualities. When they sing, their Vishuddha Chakra will develop, it will get balanced. That way they will speak more sweetly and it will pacify the mind. That way they have to learn traditional uh, Vedic dances, for example Bharat Naknyam or Odyssey dances. So these dances will help them to express their emotions because traditional Vedic dances are mostly engaged with these emotions. How you through your emotions, through your bodily actions, through your facial expressions, you can tell the story without words to the public. Women should take care of themselves by doing these kind of activities. Or, for example, these days they may not have time for learning dance, but at least uh, going to sauna once in a month, or going to massage center once in a month, or going to spa. These things may sound like very materialistic, that very selfish, you are spending so much time in those, so much money in those things, but please believe me, if women don't do these things, they will get fed up of life and they won't be able to serve properly. So we told about what will happen if women don't take care of themselves, because women are like batteries. So in order to be happy and in order to serve to others, not because of selfish interest, just because to serve more and then in longer run, women should take care of themselves. And they can take care of themselves by using at least six or five methods from 64 arts in Vedas, which are mentioned in the Vedas. So I hope this knowledge was a little bit helpful for you and I wish you take care of yourselves so that you can give to others more. Thank you so much.